Hello guys, it's um, quarter to one in the morning. This video is 44 minutes at this um, current time late. I'm very sorry, but I doubt any of you noticed. Um, Neil, sorry, I was getting rid of stuff. Um, so, uh, Neil, you asked if we were involved in any organisations or anything, and you have already asked that question. Um, my answer is different now, though I used to be involved in a bunch of theatre things. Um, I am no longer, um, for no real reason. I just um, couldn't really be bothered. We were doing a show, and I couldn't really commit to it, so I left. So currently I'm doing nothing like that. Um, which is a shame. I should be doing something, but not for now. No. Um, <coughs> Jesse, uh, the point that you've raised is um, very interesting, and it's, it is something that has been on my mind as well, like Neil was saying. Um, the question of whether or not we should strive to be entertaining um, to an outside audience, and um, I think we should. I, th I don't think we should try and keep this as like, exclusively a conversation between us three. I think obviously that we should include an outside audience. Um, and we do have, admittedly, a kind of small audience. Um, we got a nice comment from somewhere, I don't have the name, um, saying to tell those guys to go to hell. Um, I don't know, I don't really let negative commenters bother me anyway. Because we do kind of have a small audience that do watch us. Um, and they obviously find us entertaining. So there's no problem there. But I guess ultimately this is a conversation between us three. Um, it is just me, you, and Neil. Um, but I think the fact that we could easily make um, every video that we post on this private and only have us three be able to see it. But I think the fact that we do open it up to all of YouTube and all of the internet to see um, does kind of give us a certain responsibility to be slightly, uh, to be at least conscious that those people may be there. Um, that being said, though, I don't think that we do ignore them. Um, obviously, we get we get quite a lot of negative comments on this channel, um, but I got hundreds of negative comments on my old um, account, and um, I'm sure you guys got your fair share on your two accounts. It's just part of the YouTube experience, and kind of everybody gets that. If somebody finds your videos, then the chances are then they'll be the kind of person that wants to put you down for no reason, and I don't think we should let it get to us. Um, like Neil said, um, we do attempt to make our videos interesting for outsiders. Um, Neil, I liked your compliment, that was that made me smile that you thought we were both funny, and I do think that you guys are very funny as well. Um, you know, and we do, we have a laugh, and we, you know, make an effort to be entertaining, you know. So, yeah. It's kind of hard to discuss this because you guys have already brought up all the valid points and stuff. Jesse, you were pretty much hit the nail on the head and Neil, you've sort of backed it off. I can't really think of anything else. Um, so yeah, my opinion is that we do have an obligation to be entertaining for other people, but I think that we do fulfill that obligation and I think that we are entertaining to other people. And just because we get negative comments or little viewer ratings um, doesn't mean that we should stop. I think this is a good experiment. Neil and actually you both brought up that we're not the Vlog Brothers and we're not. You know, we're not trying to build a massive community here. We're just trying to have a conversation. I kind of like the idea of keeping this conversation going through YouTube for a year because that's how long the vlog projects last by proxy. You last for a year and then you're done. I like the idea of only contacting each other through this for a year and then, you know, contacting us, each other over Messenger and other social networks and stuff and we've kind of discussed that before. Um, so yeah, it's my opinions. 
I like the idea. I just like the idea of this running for a year and then continuing from there on a different thing or something. Yeah. So yeah. Yep. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to edit that massive pause out. Nope. As for my project, um, honestly, I'm losing faith in it. I didn't expect it to like take off massively immediately, but I've kind of, um, I don't know, I don't really know how to contact people about it. Um, I tried sending an email to all of my friends on Bebo, on the social network of Bebo, and I emailed it to about 20 people, nobody's got back to me. And after I emailed it to about 20 people, Bebo started saying that I was spamming and stopped me doing it. So I asked Jordan to do it for me and then it wouldn't let her do it because she said she was spamming. So I don't know, maybe someone flagged my message or something. But um, if you guys want to contribute, and I'd really like it if you did, because I'd really like something to kind of kick off the project. Because I kind of feel like I'm marketing this kind of empty thing. If someone's already done it, then it's a lot easier to get other people to help, I think, and I'm going to have to try and figure out other ways to get people to start um, participating. Jordan has some things that she may want to put up, and there's, I don't know, there's a bunch of things, but if you guys want to do it then, I gave you the link to the Gmail account that you can send it to, if you guys want to, I don't know, create a fake account on hotmail.com or something just to send it, um, I don't think it really... Obviously it kind of matters that I wouldn't know it's you too, but I think it's not a big deal if I know that it'd be you too, if you know what I mean. Because it'd be going up anonymously, no one else that visited the site would know it was you guys doing it. But, yeah, I think if you just did that, like, set up a fake email account or something and then sent something on, then that'd be fine. And I wouldn't know. If I got one from both of you, I'd probably know it was you too, but I wouldn't know which one. So, yes, that's all I have to say. Anything else? Don't think so. No, I don't have a question. Um, I think we're gonna have to get down to those movie reviews soon. I've still not ordered them, but I'll do that tomorrow. Goodbye. La.